In this video, I'm going to show you how you can turn your Wiz security camera into an excellent computer webcam for just 20 to 30 bucks. Webcams these days during the lockdown are a hot commodity. They're either sold out or on back order for months or marked up very expensively. Luckily, Wiz is an amazing company making great efforts to help us during the global quarantine isolation times by allowing us to hack their security camera firmware and make it a fully functioning webcam that works on Windows and Mac OS. Let's go over the quick steps and a few gotchas that you might occur when you're trying to transform your security camera into a webcam. By the way, before we get into it, I want to thank Wiz for being such an innovative player in connected devices. They are really pushing the boundaries down in terms of their prices. Back in 2017, they introduced this camera, the Wiz Cam, and it was a very inexpensive camera, but still very functional as a security camera that could record events and notify you, giving you that peace of mind when you're not at home or on vacation, for example. Before then, it was so costly and so prohibitive to buy a security camera system. So let's thank Wiz for making technology more accessible for all of us and not just to the ultra wealthy individuals. By the way, if you're new to this channel, I want to let you know that I'll be covering their new affordable Wiz Band fitness tracker and their light bulb. So definitely subscribe if you want to hear more related tech content. Okay, so let's dive into the setup and let's cover some of the key things you need to know before you actually make this purchase. The first step is obviously to go to the website and I'll provide a link down in the description down below and you can just download their firmware. Next, you just got to insert your micro SD card into your PC or Mac. My micro SD card was in the FAT32 format or FAT32. You may need some sort of adapter like a USB micro SD adapter or an adapter for just standard SD card. After your system recognizes the micro SD card, you're just going to copy the file into the root of the micro SD card. While you're doing this, make sure the WizCam is fully unplugged. Then you're going to insert the micro SD card at the bottom slot. Hold the reset button and connect the micro USB power adapter while still holding the reset button. Continue holding for 3 to 6 seconds until the light is solid blue, then release. Next you'll just wait 3 to 4 minutes, the camera will reboot and you'll see the light status change during this time. Once complete, the status light will flash yellow and blue at the same time. It's a weird color, but once it's just kind of blinking consistently like that, like a blue color, that means it's done. Here's the little gotcha or tricky bit. You're going to need a special type of cable, and that's the USB A to A, both male ends type of cable. This is a rather uncommon cable to have at home, so you'll likely need to go buy it on Amazon. I've added links to the USB cord that Wiz recommends, and as you'll see, this USB cord definitely works for me. What's really amazing about this setup is that it's plug and play. No drivers were required to download. It just works out of the box. Additionally, I didn't even need to have a power cable connected to the camera. The USB A to A cable powers the actual camera. This is so convenient. Now I've heard some anecdotes saying that the USB A to USB C cable would work. Those cables are very common, especially if you have a modern Android phone like the Samsung S20. However, there's a few issues using this type of cable. First, your PC or Mac needs to have a USB port. And if it's not super new, it might not even have a USB port. And in the cases it does work for whatever reason, you still need the power adapter. So you need to connect the micro USB cable. So you have two cables into the whiz cam and that can look really messy with a lot of wires. Now I personally tried to connect it to my MacBook Pro, which has a USB-C input, but none of it actually worked. I tried many USB-C cables and none of them worked. In fact, what was very odd was that my camera was trying to charge my MacBook. So I definitely recommend just going with the normal route and getting the USB A to A adapter, which isn't too expensive on Amazon for maybe seven to $10. Make sure you get a long enough cable. I recommend six feet. So you have all the flexibility in adjusting your camera position. And if you don't have the old regular USB port, don't worry, you can just use a dongle. I have a USB-C dongle, which allows you to connect regular USB-A devices into it. And it works perfectly fine as you can see here. So you might be asking, how's the quality and how's the camera? Well, I have to say, I'm generally very impressed with the camera. The picture quality is quite decent, but you'll definitely want your own headset. Most people use that anyways. I've tested this video camera on popular conferencing apps like Zoom, Google Hangouts, and Skype, and the video quality is excellent. What's amazing is that the camera includes a magnetic mount. However, if you have a metal surface, you don't even need to use the mount. You can just simply use the magnet that's already built into the stand of the camera which provides a very flexible way to position the camera in any way you need. In this case, my monitor wasn't made of metal in the back, it was made of plastic. So I just installed the adhesive metal plate at the back and it was able to hold my camera no problem. Just be mindful of the center of gravity where the USB cable is pulling down. I had to loop it through the camera stand so that it didn't fall backwards. 
Anyways, that's it for this video. I really hope this saves you a lot of money as buying a whiz cam is cheaper than those overpriced generic Chinese brand cameras. Using Amazon Prime, I had the camera delivered in just under a day. It was super fast. I highly recommend buying this camera before everyone else catches on and it goes out of stock. So definitely go out and, and check it out. I left links in the description that if you purchase through it, it really helps out the channel at no extra cost to you. So I'll be posting about the Wiz Band and the Wiz Light. So definitely subscribe to this channel if you want to see it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.